Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an HP computer and I'm gonna show you how to deal with the problem of when you're starting it, you see a bad checksum error or an RTC battery low error. I'll show you how to troubleshoot that in this video. Okay, so the first thing guys to know about this error is most likely it's being caused by a BIOS issue or a CMOS battery issue. So if your CMOS battery is dead, you need to replace it. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. But assuming your CMOS battery is not bad, and hopefully that's the case, because sometimes they can be a pain in the butt to access. Assuming it's not bad, let's go into BIOS and let's change some settings in BIOS, make sure they're correct, so hopefully that's the issue. Start your computer and start tapping on F10. We wanna get into our BIOS system. F10 for BIOS, usually in an HP. So now we're in, in our system here. Yours may look a little different based on the newness of your computer, but it will have the same options. First thing you wanna check is your date and time settings. Make sure your date's correct, make sure your time is correct. Sometimes after a sudden power loss or other issues, uh, the date and time could be wrong, which doesn't sound severe, but it can screw up a lot of stuff with the workings of your computer. So make sure your date and time is correct. If it's not correct and you fix it, fix it, save and exit, and, and try booting up again. Oh, and I forgot to mention in that demo, this is the date and time that's correct for you where you are. Sometimes I have people ask that, but this is the date and time wherever you are, that's correct. So if that fixes your issue, guys, if you fix your date and time, you save and exit, restart your computer, and the error goes away, then you're good. Most likely BIOS just suffered a one-time power loss. It does happen, and it may have messed up your settings, but hopefully you're all set. If this doesn't fix your issue, if you restart your computer, you see the same error, and then when you get into BIOS, your date and time are back to being wrong, and it didn't save the correction you made, what that's kind of signaling is that your CMOS battery could in fact be bad. If that's the case, then most likely you need to replace your CMOS battery. So this isn't gonna be the same for every computer. Um, every computer is different how you get into it and where the CMOS battery is located. If you need help getting into your specific model computer, um, to access your CMOS battery, leave me a message with your brand and your model and I can help you access it. If you want some help in accessing it, I'll have a video link above, also below in the description to another video I did showing how to get inside a typical HP computer to access its CMOS battery and maybe that'll help you out. But again, if you need help with your particular model, leave me a message. So I hope this video helped you out how to navigate around that error, how to resolve it. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.